Do you like black metal? Well, how about black metal backwards? Whoa! Backpedal is probably the artsiest, most avant-garde black metal subgenre out there. It's just regular black metal, but all the songs are reversed and slowed down. This creates a harsh but relaxing ambient style of music, and it's so cold that most black metal fans haven't even heard of it. Because you don't do it with your black metal songs, but other artists' black metal songs. Beginning to see why it's so obscure, aren't you? The genre was invented by a band called Lathenkal, with the duo Hugo Andersen and Bobandis Davidson. One day while DJing some black metal songs at their local obscure bar in Iceland, they decided to play an entire Dark Thrones album backwards, just to see if anyone noticed. No one did. You think the music sounds different today? You know, if I heard this backwards, I could swear I would hear a satanic message. Yeah. After that, they took black metal songs and released these strange backwards album for three years. A genre named backpedal was originally coined as a joke, but because it's black metal, people take these fucking joke genres very seriously. The duo commented that backpedal is an artistic counterprotest against the church and their claim of backmasking in metal music. But due to copyright infringement, the band didn't get very far. Then they claimed it's part of phonics and that any editing of the song counts as originality. No one believed them. Either way, they tried to burn down the courthouse and disappeared into the far north of Iceland, never to be heard from again. And the original intentional backpedal got lost over the years. But now the genre has re-emerged on the internet and joined a bunch of other obscure internet drone genres. I would mention some current backpedal bands, but because black metal artists take copyright infringement very seriously, they develop advanced algorithm to notice and take down any band that has their title backwards, especially on Spotify, YouTube, and every other platform except on MySpace, where you can still find some relics, except that you can't play their songs anymore. Huh. Needless to say, the genre is kind of dead. Now, if I should mention one backpedal band, I can mention the most funniest one. The most infamous and controversial backpedal band was Musrub, who played Bursa music backwards. The reason this band was so controversial was it turned out it was actually just Vargvigernus trying to sell his music twice. He and his backpedal music was actually banned from the backpedal venue Natas in Iceland for it, which means he was banned from every backpedal venue in the world. How embarrassing. So yeah, most people only see this genre as a weird, ironic joke or a really bad black metal meme. But I think this genre deserves some recognition. So let's start dancing madly backwards and make some backpedal! Ow! <laughs> Fuck! First things first, you need to be as obscure as possible. You'll mask your identity with your chosen artist's reverse name. Complete anonymity is the key ingredient to starting a backpedal project to be as cult as possible. Besides, you don't want the black metal band to sue you or anything. Yeah, for my own safety, I'm gonna use my own band name, not to slide. Drebs not. Yeah, that sounds like an obscure village in Finland. I would use someone else's band name, but then I have to liquidate all my assets and move to Legoland and... I don't own shoes. So good thing my only song I ever wrote was about Satan. So it's instantly true cult. Speaking of true cult, it's time to talk about aesthetics, starting with the album cover. First, you print out the album you've borrowed from, then you take a picture of it in the mirror while holding it upside down. Copyright avoided! Stop all the downloading! Ah! You're not gonna make any live appearances, so just take an edgy black and white photo of you in a black hood for the promotional photo. Makeup is optional. But here's a cold trick you can do at home. Try wearing a black robe and stand next to something black. Then reverse the colors of the photo and wha-bam! Totally unnecessary, but looks... neat? I've been told everyone in the backpedal community does this. Or rather, did. And no, don't jump in my comment section and be like, Actually, the photos are reversed to reflect the backwards music, but also to comment on how mainstream black male music has become regressive in our society. And shut up! And now, let's do the music. The easiest way to do this is with Audacity. No Reaper today. Not today, Reaper! First, you must choose your black metal track, which is gonna be difficult if you want to stand out because you have to choose a band very few have heard about. Do you know how many Dark Throne inspired backpedal bands there were? Three. That's a lot of backpedaling. Anyway, import your track. Select the entire thing and reverse it. Then you apply Paul Stretch. 
It doesn't have to be a lot, preferably between 2 or 8. 9 or above is pop music. Then you render the track and take a quick break. Man, all this rendering is taking so long. Good thing this video is sponsored by Backwards Audible! Backwards Audible is a service for those who don't believe in having fun, making it perfect for black metal fans. Backwards Audible, good stories in a bad format. Use promo code Arifigav and get- again! Use the promo code Arifigav and get fucked! I recommend The Vague History of Backpedal by Sue Minoa, which is the only book on the site to be listenable, as the original book was written backwards. Backwards Audible, remember, use promo code Arifigav and get fucked! Back to the video. Ah, rendering's done! Now just give the song a backwards name and backwards band name. And now, upload it to SoundCloud and expect it to be taken down immediately. So you may have to get an actual MySpace account to post your music. Unless you're using your own music. Losers! Let's listen to it. 